early voting is over. Now the votes that matter will be cast on election day. Nashville Mayor Freddie O'Connell gave the final argument for his choose how you move referendum, which would expand sidewalks, increase smart traffic lights and bus service, and he says, open Nashville up for opportunities to receive federal transportation money. Earlier this week, the Federal Railroad Administration awarded more than $2 billion in projects to cities and communities across America. Uh, we got zero dollars. This is a familiar pattern, and it's time we build transportation infrastructure like a major city because that's what we are. Those opposed to the plan say Nashville is already on track to accomplish some of the goals of the referendum through other means. A lot of what is proposed in the um, transit referendum is we're doing it now. We've got a $10 million grant, you know, earlier in the year to help with signalization. And we, we're moving forward. If this is your first time voting since the last presidential election, there are some things you need to know. First, after the 2020 redistricting, your polling location may have changed. If that's the case, you cannot vote at your old one. You'll need to bring a government-issued photo ID with you. And to avoid an issue that came up a couple weeks ago during early voting, instead of aiming for that small square box in the upper left corner of each name, elections officials say simply touch the name of the person you're voting for right in the middle of the rectangle to reduce the risk of accidentally voting for someone else. Once your ballot is finished and printed, look it over to make sure it's accurate. If it's not, you can always ask for a do-over before you turn your ballot in. Jason Lamb, News Channel 5.